let me let me let me take the court bit for starters. The truth is, I've never been in one. Even in school, uh, what I enjoyed was being a member of the Palm Wine Drinkers Club. But at the time that we wanted to shoot Olegu at that particular scene, and uh, ironically, it happens to be one of the shortest scenes in the whole film. Um, Professor Kim Inshola had to take me through some of the things he felt, some of the things he wrote for that scene. And then I felt I needed to, I needed to add a few things of my imagination. I felt I needed to make it larger than life. That's the word I was looking for. And I wanted to make it larger than life. So I just imagined some things which I added to that scene. And it worked. Even Professor King Michel has stood back and after, after we finished shooting that scene and said, wow. I, I could see his face even now. How impressed he was with that. But I also remember that years after, so many years after, I was walking down alley close to my office when a guy came up to me and started making some signs, some funny signs. He obviously expected me a response from me, but I was so I was lost. I didn't understand a bit of what he was doing. Then he got a bit confused and moved closer to me and said, and then he, he did a greeting. I can't remember the phrase now. And he didn't get a response. Then he got a bit, I won't use the word upset. Then he asked me, are you not supposed to be a marriage? Are you not married? I said, me? How? I said, I'm, uh, I saw you in so so film now. And then most of it after I said, my brother, I don't know anything about it. So that has happened a few times. That's only on the call time. The thing is, people, because of um, the level of believability, people find it a bit difficult to differentiate between the character they see, maybe on stage or in a, in a, in a movie, and the real person. Uh, he talked about uh, the bad guy that broke somebody's heart. That was Ajani. Mm. Not me. Mm. But Ajani did. Mm. That was what was written. Mm. That was what was interpreted. Mm. And uh, um, that's, a, that's a difference between character. Mm. You, you're okay. When you, are, you succeed in delivering that role, it's even more difficult for you to cope with people's interpretation of your person. Mm -hmm. I've lived with that for years. Mm -hmm. I'm still living with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't feel, I don't feel, I don't feel, um, I don't feel embarrassed in any form. Mm -hmm. uh, people will tell you, uh, I need to live, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of a thing. Uh, it's, it's, it, it happens, mm -hmm. it happens. <laughs> no, ironically, no, no. I I went into that for a particular reason. It was an, it was something that happened. I was um, I served in the state government, and there was a time the governor then, Otunba Mega Daniel, I was in the executive council, and uh, it threw a challenge to the exco. That the way things are going, we shouldn't just preach uh, entrepreneurship. We shouldn't just preach that the young ones should not be sad, not be engrossed with looking for white collar jobs. Mm -hmm. That they should do things with their hands, with their imagination, and all that. So he challenged the ex school to show by example, so that people could follow. That was when I took up the challenge. Then I, I looked at two things that there were three things, three things that came to mind. Basically, all are, all are, are, are agriculture related. One was snail farming. 
The other was fish farming, and then palm wine uh, bottling. I looked around and I said, okay, wait a minute, why not? We had, uh, we had, uh, we had uh, an incubation center put together by the government in Ogun State. So I decided to capitalize on that. And I said, okay, since that was open to the public to utilize, why not? So I came up with the idea of bottling palm wine and uh, I ended up with uh, a Moshogan. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about years and years ago. It's still in production. But the drive to me then was not just wanting to establish something. The drive was for me to provide employment opportunities to the young ones. I felt in whatever small scale I could do it, I needed to take some people off the labor market, uh, off the unemployment market. So that was the drive. And I scouted, I looked around, and I did that. I'll tell you that at least two or three of those who started with me so many years back are still with me till today. They're still involved. And uh, it gives me joy. Uh, I, I wasn't, and I'm still probably not looking at the big profit or whatever. I just love the fact that I have some young ones uh, that could take care of a few things of theirs, a few things of theirs uh, via the employment opportunity that I've given.